Alright folks and welcome back to the Don's channel. I am the Don Father and I'm now going to be covering a player who was known for how hard a player he was. I've actually been told by someone he's actually the hardest player ever. So there has to be an element in truth in this. It's all down to a matter of opinion. Was he the hardest player ever? I don't know. However, to say it means he has to be one tough cookie, doesn't he really? Um, credit for this video goes to Frank Matt. Uh, check out their channel guys and subscribe. The original video, there'll be a link to the original video in the description section below as well. Um, his nickname's Wusha, he does coach Essendon right now as well, so he's still going. Did he beat up Dermot Brereton? I don't know. Did he knock him out? This is a rumour I've heard as well. Somebody's put a comment in the sec comment section below of one of the videos um, that he knocked out Dermot Brereton. Is that true? Let me know. Anyway, let's see his best hits. I'm really looking forward to it because if he is as tough as what people say he is, then we're in for a real treat. No more talking. Let's go. Wusha's greatest hits. Kicks out. Bow! Oh, fucking hell. Lovely. His arms are up. Stretched above his head, he's hit him straight through the body. There's Matera coming over. Lovely. Graham Wright as a result oh, of the yes. with John Wilson. Brilliant. Just turned his back he's on him. Being taken from the ground on a stretcher. Smashed him with his back and his ass all in one go. Two of them. Back to Stone. Over the head of Scott. Wooten again. Oh, oh fucking get in, son. And he is looking groggy. Glenn Archer's one tough bastard, so if he's went down, you know he's hurt. Fucking bang. I like how he turned side on and made sure. Greg Madigan in his 43rd game is going to put the Dockers into their attacking zone, maybe for the first time. But they zigzag across the Holy ground. Holy fuck. In comes Johnny Worsfall. That's the worst ball we know. Charging at the football. That's the worst ball we know. Oh my fucking lord, that was unbelievable. To half forward, Lindening. Glinda looks as though he's coming off. In fact, they're right in the middle of the play there. Gary <laughs> he's getting goes carried off. Is it the still playing? He's hammered over the line. Fuck it out. Make no mistake, you are getting Great fucking knocked out of there, son. Gary Ablasinha. Oh, my Great fucking ball. lord, again. What a hit. Tell you what, that was just a short video. It's really tough to find videos on him because he's an older player now. Some great players in that video. You had Gary Ablett Senior, you've had Glenn Archer as well. All tough guys by their own right and he's wiped them the fuck out of it. I like how he hits them as well in the video. Um, he's no intentions of playing the ball, that is clear. And when they're talking about the umpires let that one go, um, yeah, it's one of those ones where you know there's no, no intention of making the tackle. All he's doing is just trying to absolutely smash the opposing player. And he does it with absolute precision and power. Bang! It leaves, and then just as the connection's about to happen, he kind of turns side on to give it a more fucking, I don't know, a more powerful hit and just bulldozes his way through them. The one where he smashed the boy over the line is nothing short of spectacular. Um, wonderful hits there, what a player. Um, is he the hardest player in the AFL history? I am not too sure. This is, you know, some of the things that you, when I'm doing videos here, it's a great debate. There's loads of debate about who's tough or who's a better player, who's better in this position, whatever. Sport is about opinion at the end of the day, but there's no denying when you watch that there that he could fucking hit. You would not want to be on the end of one of them. And as I've already said, Glenn Archer uh, was well known for just how 
hard a bastard he was. What was he, 10 times shin boner of the year? He was quintessential fucking North Melbourne player. Um, bled that club, if you like. And, um, you know, he's been absolutely smashed. And he was looking groggy when he was down trying to get up. That um, can only stand as a credit to John Morsfold and just how physically hard he is fucking hitting you. Brilliant video, very very short. I would have liked to have seen a few more uh, minutes of it, but as I say, when they were playing back in the olden, uh, olden, olden days, fucking hell, when they were playing back years ago, there's maybe not as much camera footage of the games as what you're getting now. I mean, near enough every game's televised, so um, to try and get more of a hits compilation put in there is a little bit more difficult. If it was a more modern player, you would have 10 minutes of average hits. Do you know what I mean? But with him, you've only got a few minutes, a couple of minutes even, a couple of minutes of spectacular hits. Imagine that in a fucking modern day. Imagine that guy, he would be fucking suspended all the time. I'd imagine some of those hits now are going to be um, fucking straight to the tribunal, to be honest with you. Um, just just the nature of them. There's no intent there to, make, to, to get the ball, which I've got absolutely zero problem with whatsoever. In actual fact, I fucking love it. But the way the game's going today, the modern game, they're trying to water that stuff down, aren't they? I mean, there's too much money being spent in the game. They don't want to risk serious injury because of nutcases like Wusha. Although, the paying public would love to see fucking players like Wusha still playing. But the game's evolved, the game's changing, the money in it, then they're not going to risk serious injury for that sort of mentality anymore, which is a huge shame, really. Um, but anyway... Thanks very much for telling me a little bit of details about John Morsfield. Whether or not it's true or other people hold the same opinion as it is irrelevant, really. But um, at the same time, great to cover him. Thanks very much, guys. Don't forget to um, subscribe and smash the notifications bell on as well so you don't miss any of our videos when we release them. Um, check out our social media platforms in the description section below and other ways in which you can help fund and support the channel, such as Patreon or our one-off uh, donation called Get Us To Oz, where we're planning on doing an AFL vl uh, vlogging trip down under. Um, really looking forward to that, so any donations would be greatly welcomed. Thanks very much, everyone. I am the Dawn Father. Peace and goodbye.